So welcome back everybody. I'll just give you like a little brief. Uh, the sun has actually went away because there's a cloud right there. But there's one of the little kittens. She always runs up to Booger. He's a little mean to her because he likes to play a lot. But there's Miss Mangle. What you doing, girl? Just sitting in there trying to warm yourself up. There's a henny penny. Um, I'm going to take you guys up and show you what we've done so far. My husband um, had to go get a physical done for a CDL was due today. He forgot to do it on Saturday, but he said, well, might as well make a, a, you know, a separate trip when I'm already down that way for work. So he went right after work today. He said he wasn't sure he'd be back in time to actually finish the hut. But over the weekend, it was very cold. It snowed. It was sleet. Just a lot of coldness. Today, it's not that bad out, especially when the sun decides to come back out like it is now. So we always want to say thank you, Lord, for the sun. I always love it. <coughs> well, we're going to... I just put this up. Now, this is actually for goats, but my kids broke a lot of it last year. So I'm just going to put it up for the chickens for right now. And this is where it goes, to that corner. And I have it so it goes up and around their pen. Try to deter any other animals of trying to get in. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it electric again or not. Because I really, there's like six posts that are broke. Um, that I really need to replace, which costs money, what well, doesn't. But over there is where it's teed together. So it comes up behind the coop, or behind this enclosure. And as you can see, my husband did get most of the um, wire on it. Uh, that's not going to work because look at the gap. I could just get right underneath this. So I need to fix this. Um, that area right there. And then back here. Looks to be a little high too. It's coming up when it should be down. It's a little high right here I see. I don't know if that's just because where I've got it sitting and then it comes down there to the corner comes back up and around but my husband's got to cut this end off and then he just has to then wire put the wire on the front of this and then cut the door out so then it would be finished we did take the chicken coop we were trying to get it taken apart to brought down here and the bottom fell out on it so it's like sitting on the ground up there I don't know if you guys can see it but um yeah that's what this is so if he gets home in time he's going to finish the front of this and then we can um get our chickens in here I'm going to order another one of these for the ducks so they can be in their own facility. <laughs> and then my husband said that he wanted to know if they made a smaller one. And I said, yep, they do. And he says, well, we need to order one of those for the meat birds we're going to raise. So they have something too. But then we'll have to figure out, oh, gosh, you scared me. I thought you were dead. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I don't remember a cat being smushed there. Tom Pepper, or as my husband calls him, Booger. He's a feisty little kitty, like a jalapeno pepper, aren't you, Pepper? Yep, you are. But, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what's going on and what has gone on. Boy, I just keep looking at that thinking that's going to be a really nice, lush, green pasture one day for them horses. One day. And one day, hopefully, the donkeys and goats will have the same. 
green lush past pastures. There's Patsy up there waiting. They're like, come on, Mom. Isn't it time yet? Nope. Sorry, girls. It's not. Um, I have completed the final exam. Missed one question on it out of 30. Got a 90%. Or 95%, I can't remember. Um, but you had to have it 80 or better to pass. So that was great that I finally got that done. Um, Elijah did get the rest of the posts taken down and rolled that fence up for me. So that's taken care of right now. Um, I want to do a garden bench with my pallets that I have left. I've got, I think there's three there. I've got one up by the barn. I got one holding some cutoffs of cattle panels. There's one of the kittens up on the wood pile. That's where we feed them because otherwise the chickens and ducks eat their food. Yeah, they do, don't they? They eat your food. Huh. That's the little girl. Yeah, they eat your food. She's got a little white tip on her tail. And a little, um, little black nose, tip on her nose. If I had the money, I'd get everybody fixed so we'd stop having kittens. But there's another one that looks like her that's a male and a little tabby that I thought was a male, but it might be a female because it's really tiny. But as you can see, the chicken coops on the, f the ground, the bottom fell out. And then the um, wire thingies that were hooked to it, they rotted away. Um, there was still like five more posts that Elijah didn't get um, finished. But like I told my husband, I said, I don't know what you're planning to do with this. If you want to take the skid steer and kind of grade it out some, or what, but yep, there it is, on the ground. My husband said, we can just set it on the ground, and they could still, you know, lay eggs and whatnot in it, but it's pretty, this is the bottom tray that was in it, it's pretty bad. This is the outside fence that was in it, and that was the additional roof. That was the lean-to we had on it. But yeah, um, it's pretty, I mean, I could still get eggs like this, you know, out of there. Just like that. And it looks like the bottom is about ready to fall out of that, too. Yeah, you guys are going to get moved into a new place. My husband said he just feels like we should just kind of junk it, but I'm like, we could use it. You know, it's, we could use it for something. That means I'd have to buy another one or get some type of chicken coop put up. Just more money, <laughs> you know. We're trying to get all our bills paid down so then we don't have very many payments anymore, but it seems to be pretty hard to do but we're doing it look at she's coming up here meow. Meow. there's the other one right there her brother meow. Meow. they almost look alike he's like no I'm not coming Darn ducks. Can't stand them things. But thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully the next video you'll see the chickens in there and the bigger chicks moved out of there and put into there with them. And Mangle's gonna go in there. Right now she's calling for her her flock. They're up here, Mangle. They're right here. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless.